What's going on guys and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this horror animation or effect using only HTML and CSS. Um, as you can see here I'm using code pen and let me just close this one and there we have it. This is the skeleton version or the um, basic version of the code and let me just press F11 and okay now it's on full screen. Um, on the as um, yeah let's start with our HTML file and um, here these are all uh, gonna come under the um, body so here I have a main div called button or btn for short and then I close that and inside of that I have a div with the class name of background and a um, heading tag which is h1 which, which says hover me Okay, which is this one right here. Ah. Uh, yeah, and let's move on to our HTML file. Uh, I mean CSS file. I will just increase its height. And here I have normalized everything by setting margin and padding to zero. And high in body, I've done everything to center all the contents that will be coming here. All right. Um, now let's uh, modify our um, H1 heading tag. All right, um, let's start with um, having a background ground of black. And the color of white. All right, and the padding of twenty pixels, and a um, text trans um, transform upper. All right, and a font. Uh, not done. Don't font family of um Helvetica. Okay. All right, now it's looking much more nicer now. And um, yeah, uh, now I want the body to be um black. LA, uh, I mean background to be black so here it's gonna be black but but the um uh, text background will stay the same and I will tell you why I did that for further on but um, right now we can uh, style the background ground is gonna be a um, height 100 pixel percentage and width 100 percentage and background white and let me just give it the position of absolute all right now it's just really ginormous um and that's because we need the button class right here and we need the position to be set relative to everything so it will just so basically the background takes the height and width 100% directly from its uh, sibling that is this h1 tag right here including its 20 pixels but right now we can't see our text because it's underneath it but we want it but I wanted to want to see it so um, yeah let me just show you if I put this right here 
they go still nothing will happen because it's underneath the um, white background but we can make it appear without using the z index so that's by using a property code called mix blend mode and um, setting it to different and they go it just magically appeared why that why is that happening well basically what mix blend mode does is it just specifies how the um, specified element should um, look relative to its background and in this case it's the um, background or the um, white div block on top of it so when it's white it's gonna be black if I use difference because as you can see right here even the orange even the blue color selection is orange because it just basically inverts the color so if I use red here I mean just red there you go we can see a cyan because difference basically inverts the color and mix blend mode has so many different modes and you can go check it out on the website link that i've given down below uh, yeah but for this project we only need difference and from here on it's really simple just give it give the background a zero percent and i mean width of zero percent and transition of one second all and um, yeah here uh, dot pdn hover there if I have I hover the button class then I should have background show it's full width so width 100 percent all right and let's see there you go now it's working brilliantly and also i also want one more thing with the button hover wait uh okay uh cursor pointer and there you go we have a hand pointing uh, cursor right here and that's it for this video and this is a really cool animation and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new on the way until the next video goodbye